All right, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to Dan in the Dirt. First and foremost, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Stay busy, stay dirty. Let's get into this. Oh, and you can also follow me, find me on Rumble and X. Um, mostly Rumble and X. Um, so I bought my very first um, RC boat kit. It's the American Beauty by Dumas. And uh, I messed up the first video, and we've already got everything out, so we this is kind of like take two. So this is the kit. It is, uh, let's see, 37 inches long, or the length, and the beam is 12 inches, and the draft is 2 inches. And here's some of the... So we'll take this and move this off to the side. And there again, I got a bunch of goodies. So th this is the hull here and some of the parts for that. I've got a, I also bought an oscillating tool with, for sanding and some clamps for this kit. So I've got a new, some, some pliers and cutters. I got that kit. I uh, got some epoxy. Uh, I've got a coping saw and some different um, uh, different uh, size uh, teeth blades, like different with different blades on it. Oops! Already dropping stuff. Ah! So got that stuff, and I also got some some more measuring tools that so I uh, can make sure that I can line everything up. I've got some wire cutters. I've already got a, cut, a, a torch and stuff for brazing. And um, pictures. Uh, so you see here, I'm going to have, trying to be careful with this balsa, this wood here. So, got lots of balsa wood, that come, you know, to build the, start building it out. And some more there. And bunch of more down there. We're just going to grab some of these metal railings and kind of keep this short and sweet. How about that? Catch me outside. And there's the um, metal rods uh, that I'll need to brace, cut and braze and bend and to make the uh, the railings and stuff. So, and like I said, we got the oscillating um, tool and I've got um, a sander and it has some, diff uh, some different, I've got two of these um, oscillating tool sander um, doodahs for attachments and then it comes has different pads. I've got, like I said, I've got some JB Weld. Oh! I've got wire cutters. I've got some more CA hobby glue, some JB Weld. We're going to be using uh, Rust-Oleum uh, paint and primer, and we're going to be using a Rust Oleum professional. I've got two. No, well, I got, let's see. I've got some crystal clear after we get it painted, some crystal clear enamel for it. And we're going to be using this Rust Oleum professional black. And also, I have the Rust Oleum professional white. Oh. I gotta grab the plans and bring them over here and show y'all these. This ought to be cool. So there's the instruction booklet for the American Beauty towboat, the Mississippi River towboat. There's some decals right there. There's the instructions and check out these build plans. These are actually full size drafting plans here for this thing. Look how look at that. And here's like two sheets of that stuff. So there's that sheet and this whole roll here. So quite a bit of plans for the and instructions for the American Beauty towboat kit. Uh, yep, I worked on uh, on a towboat when I was 20. I went all the way from St. Paul, Minnesota to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That was back uh, in my Job Corps days in 2001, I think. 
2000, something like that, many moons ago. So, like I said, I got all the all this all the stuff for it. I got some tools. I've got my hobby knives. I've also got a flex shaft tool over there and all my other stuff. I've got some hobby knives themselves, as well as all the other stuff I bought here. I've got a, a, a utility knife I bought right here. So I have a whole bunch of goodies. I also have the um, running hardware and the deck hardware coming. And now I'm trying to figure out the motor, how, what's kind, what motors I'm going to run. Because the Dumas ones, unfortunately for me, are very expensive. And I just am, I don't want to buy those motors. And they only have a 6-volt one. They don't make the 12-volt anymore. And they're expensive. And so I'm looking at either a, br a brushless outrunner alternative or a 550 uh, brushed alternative um, or a 700 series, a 750 or 700 series um, brushed motor set for this because it runs two motors. And um, so, and um, but I'm going to be running everything on a 3S LiPo. And yeah, so this is pretty much everything to it. And there you guys can see the Claude sitting back there just looking on at the new uh, the new um, RC project. Yep, it is massive. 37 inches, and I'm going to get a uh, barge kit for it. My plan is to, to uh, get a rake and a, um, a box barge. And I want to do... Uh, um, a crane on the box on the box barge and then on the bow or the rake barge i want to be able to um uh make it into a uh like a scrap like a scrap barge where it had where uh, and then the um the crane will have like a magnet on it so i want it to i want this thing to haul junk is what my plans are so yep that's this is the kit so this will be my first rc boat like i said and uh hopefully wish me luck and, uh, anyway, um, all right. Anyway, folks, uh, stay busy, stay dirty, and, um, we'll see you in the next one and wish me luck. Uh, on another side note, this, this kit's okay. Uh, like I said, it, it, you know, uh, before we go, the one thing I noticed was on this, on this vacuum formed ABS is up here in this corner, the way that they... Let me get this out of the way here so you guys can see. This piece here is like the way they trimmed it was real, it looks real hacky. So not a fan of that. Like the way they did these corners. It just makes it harder to work with. And then some of the balsa, as you can see, is a little meh. So we'll see what we got. But yep, we got lots of pieces and we've got lots of hobby stores that sell balsa stuff if I need it. But uh like I said, we still got to get the running gear and motors and all that figured out, and and, that's, and I've got servos, so anyway, folks, stay busy, stay dirty. See you in the next one.